Hello! In this series, we're going to create a system that generates a level by reading the pixels of an image. Uh, so we can basically create levels in Paint, Photoshop, GIMP, or anything like that. Uh, so this is inspired by a GIF I uploaded over a year ago, where, where I showed off this system that generates a level like this for my game portals. And it worked out pretty well. So we're going to create something like this. Um, so let's get started. So first off, I quickly want to explain how we're going to come from this to this. Well, actually, it's pretty simple. We'll make Unity go through every single pixel of this image. And if the pixel has some specific color, we'll put some specific object on that pixel. So for example, if the pixel's color is black, we'll put a tile on that pixel, and if the pixel's color is red, we'll put some other object on that pixel. Now we'll make a system where you can define what colors and what objects you'll spawn on those colors should be. So let's jump right into Unity, guys. So now we're in Unity, but we're not going to code just yet. We just have to set some things up first. So let's set the folders up. So right click over here at your project pane. And let's call this folder scenes. Let's make another folder. Let's call this graphics. Another one, prefabs. Why does it do that? Uh, and scripts. Cool. Now let's first import our tile set or tile sheet so we can have some tiles. So let's just drag this sheet into Unity. You can of course download it in the description. Um, so let's just set the sheet up. Uh, <laughs> uh, set the sprite mode to multiple because there are multiple sprites in the sprite sheet. And let's set the pixels per unit to one. So one pixel is one unit in Unity, and that's pretty important. You'll see why. Make sure filter mode is set to point and compression is set to none. And let's just apply this and go into the sprite editor and slice this up. So click slice, set the type to grid by cell size and set the pixel size to 16 by 16 because that is the size of each of these. Click slice and now we have some sliced tiles. Cool. Click apply and let's get out of here. Um, so let's create the actual tile object prefab thing. So drag a tile into your scene like this. And let's name this tile. And let's put a box collider on this tile. Um, and yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Uh, drag it into your prefabs. So now we have a tile prefab that we can use in our script. So let's just adjust the main camera here and set the size of the uh, camera <laughs> to 120. And that looks pretty good. So let's set the background to something that's more pleasing. Uh, maybe something like that. I think it's fine. Uh, oops, what the... Now let's uh, save the scene. And let's call this uh, tutorial. You can call it whatever you want. And now we have this setup. So let's remove the tile and create an empty game object and call this level gen. Cool. And let's create a script. So right click on your scripts folder, create C sharp script. And this is of course going to be called level gen, which is short for level generator. And let's drag it over on the level gen. Cool. Before we begin coding, let's first create the actual level in Photoshop. Now, um, you can use whatever software you'd like. You can even use paint if you wish. So let's create a new file. Let's call this level. And the width and height of this file is the amount of tiles that'll be in the in the level. So it'll be 16 by 16 
tiles big this level. So let's press OK and create our level. I'm just gonna do this quickly. So um, yeah, that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Let's um, what? Oh, it's too big. Let me just do something like that. Make a make an exit for the player to jump out of the level. Um, just maybe just make the player jump a little bit like that and the player can jump up here and walk over here jump up on this thing over there and he can jump up here and down there super advanced level now that's pretty cool so now let's change the color to be completely red so it has to be 255 red right here just has to be completely red um, and then let's place the player there now why not have some other objects also so let's play some coins or something we're not gonna code any coins we're just going to do this to prove a concept so we're just gonna spawn some cubes here you can make your own coins guys so <laughs> this is it for the level let's save it and let's save it in the graphics folder and there we go so now we are pretty much almost set. Let's just set up this texture. So set the texture type to be default and the texture shape should be 2D. Um, and down here under advanced, you have to enable read write. That is very important because else uh, Unity can't actually read the pixel data of the, of the texture. So do that. And we don't need to generate any mid maps. Uh, filter mode should also be point. That's important. And there should be no compression. Uh, click apply and we are set. So that's pretty good. So now let's get into the code, guys. So to begin with, let's just uh, remove this. We're going to need the update function a little bit later. Um, and we're gonna declare some variables to start with. So the first variable, a public texture 2D uh, texture to generate from. Now that name should explain what this variable is. Uh, so let's continue to the next variable and that is going to be a public game object tile prefab and now we need some sprites so we're gonna create some arrays of sprites so let's say sprite and these brackets right here means they are arrays basically so this is going to be called blank tile sprites and then we're gonna need a public integer which is going to be called tile size and we're gonna set this tile size to be 16 now what is this well that's a good question guys now let me just show you this gif again you can see that some of the tiles have grass on top of them and we're basically gonna set the sprites of the tiles through code so we can put this grass on top we're gonna get to that later um, and then the last thing we need for now is a public list of game objects and that is going to be called tiles created. Now in this update function we will just check if we press a key down so input dot get key down key code dot uh, G for generate, of course, and let's call a function called generate level. Now, this function is not created yet, so let's create it now. Oops, 
there we go and in here we're just gonna say print uh, generating level and let's jump back into unity and start to assign some things so we can see that we have a lot of things here now so let's start by assigning the tiles the tile prefab and the texture to generate from to be the actual level texture and then let's fill in these uh, top tile and you know sprites things so let's go to the sheet and let's see so this is the left corner tile and this is the right corner tile and these are go away and these are the middle grass tiles and the rest of them are just blank so let's let's put that in so the first one was a left corner tile and the third one or fourth one was a right corner tile and you can just drag it on top of this this name right here and it should fill in automatically and for the top tiles were this one and this one and now I'll just show you a little neat trick instead of just dragging everything in one by one we can lock this inspector right here and then we can select these by clicking and then holding shift and then selecting everything and just dragging drag them over to the blank tile sprites so our initial setup is done now so let's press play and press G and you can see we get a little message saying generating level but nothing's being generated but something's gonna get generated in the next video so yeah thank you for watching I hope this little series is helpful if you would like me to create games and videos instead of working at my local supermarket uh, please consider becoming a patreon on my freshly baked patreon page again uh, thanks for watching and have a good day Thank you.